From watching your favorite scary movie to walking alone at night, there are many things to be afraid of. But sometimes, fears or phobias can have a negative effect on a person's life. For some Canadians, overcoming phobias can be a daunting task. At the Université du Québec à Outaouais, Stéphane Bouchard studies the effects of using virtual reality to treat patients suffering from anxiety disorders and phobias. In his CFI-funded cyber psychology lab, Bouchard worked with psychologists, computer programmers, engineers, and graphic artists to build a 3D immersive cube where patients can face their fears head on. The immersive cube is uh, a cube where you can stand up and images would be projected from behind the walls and you would see the 3D environments, for example, a virtual dog or virtual spider floating in front of you and you can actually have the impression that they're really there. Cubes like that are often called caves are common, uh, but ours is special because it's a six-sided cube. It means that when you close the back door, images are coming from all six sides. Uh, and that's very unique. There's about 10 of them in the world, and there's only one dedicated to, me dedicated to mental health on the planet, and it's here in Gatineau. This technology is not limited to anxiety disorders. It can be used to treat anything from post-traumatic stress disorder and obsessive-compulsive disorder to eating disorders and addictions. The, the cube, the vault, has made a significant difference in how we can treat patients suffering from anxiety disorders, phobias, addictions, uh, because it provides us with a unique insight of why virtual, virtual reality works. And we have this clinic here where a patient could actually come and be treated as part of it in outcome trials. Since its establishment in 2008, the Cyber Psychology Lab has helped treat patients with phobias such as the fear of public speaking, of animals, and of flying. The lab can project 28 different scenarios conceptualized and developed in-house, which they test on patients. So what you're seeing here is actually an ER uh, room that would be used with patients suffering from generalized anxiety disorder. Uh, what they, they're most afraid of is uncertainty. Uncertainty about bad news, about accident that might happen, about disease and sickness that might, they might have, that we psychologists would use in therapy to uh, address the fears and work on them.